couple of severe thunderstorm warnings in effect right now. These are the orange boxes you see. So in our area, we're looking at Chester County, which now just now this just popped up. A tornado warning has been issued over Chester County right now. You see that red box. That is an indication that this particular cell, this is breaking news, just happened while we're on the air. You saw it just pop up there. Now a tornado warning for portions of Chester County. This particular cell has a history of producing not only large hail, but now radar detected rotation. Lots of lightning as well, and as this continues to move east into Chester County, there is now concern that it could produce a tornado, and this is particularly dangerous because people may be asleep and may not know what to do. If you're in this area, if you're in Chester County, if you're in Callan Township up toward Honeybrook, just south of the Turnpike here, you need to head to a safe location. Seek shelter immediately, a basement, an interior room away from windows. That's where you need to be. This is a very dangerous storm with a potential rain wrap tornado moving through at the moment. Some rotation indicated by the Doppler radar picture here, and that's what prompted that tornado warning as that storm continues to move about 45 miles an hour to the south and east. And you can see it does have a hail signature as well. So here's the severe thunderstorm warning. Over 400,000 people encompassed in that warning over Chester County. That goes until 1130. I'll have to move back over to the computer to show you the stats on the tornado warning. But what I also want to show you is the hail signature with both of these cells, a lot of hail detected as these storms have moved across portions of Dauphin and York counties and also Lebanon County. So there is the threat that this storm is not only producing a potential tornado, but also large and damaging hail. Continuing to track this out again, it's moving to the south and east at about 45 miles an hour. That puts it right over Euclid Township at about 1130, West Goshen Township at 1141, and then Wilmington by 1158. Now, I do think this will weaken as it moves into some cool cooler air that's in place over the city and over northern Delaware. But as of right now, lots of lightning and again, a potential tornado. And again, that is going to be weakening. But let's back up a little bit. And I want to show you this cell once again that's moving into portions of Chester County. It's over Berks County right now, right about here. And here is that tornado warning box that does include portions of Chester County. I'm actually going to step over to the computer so I can zoom in for you and tell you which exact areas are impacted by this latest tornado warning. That again, just popped up as we were on the air here this evening. So let's zoom in and you can see what we're looking at as we take a closer look at this tornado warning. Again, it is over Chester County. And as we zoom in, we'll show you some spots that are encompassed in that watch. It goes from Euclid Township down toward Downingtown, Callan Township, West Callan Township, East Fallowfield Township, West Brandywine as well. And right over toward Icedale, that could be the next area impacted by this storm. Let's go ahead and take the lightning down in size for you so you can actually see what we're looking at here. Here is the center of the storm right over portions of the Pennsylvania Turnpike. And again, it is moving about 45 miles an hour to the south and east. So as we continue to track this out for you, drag this to the south and east at about 45 miles an hour. And we don't even, it doesn't even go that far, but you can see within about 15, 20 minutes, this will be moving through Chester County with radar detected rotation and a potential tornado. Also portions of Lancaster County under that tornado warning right now. We're seeing the northeastern corner of Lancaster County also in a tornado warning as we speak. So let's take you back out. We'll zoom out and show you how that storm is moving to the south and east at about 45 miles per hour. Let's see if we can turn on our, our velocity sweep here and actually see if we can see that rotation detected within that system. Here we go, we'll take a look and see if we can see that. What we're looking at here is, you're looking at the colors on the map, and if I take off the warning for a second, we can try to zoom in, and a lot of times when you get radar detected rotation like this, you see that little, that little area of purple right about here, embedded within the green. That's what we look at when we're looking for a radar signature for rotation. When you see that little area of different color, differential color there, it's an indication that rotation is happening because you have winds moving away from the radar center and also winds moving toward it. So that's what we're watching, that little blip that tells us that a potential tornado is occurring with this particular cell right now. So taking you back to a closer look at it, it's moving right now through Honeybrook. It's moving toward West Callan Township, again, right along 
along the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Very, very dangerous developing situation right now with this tornado warning in effect. Pulling up some stats on the tornado warning for you right here. Uh, you can see it goes until 1130 as of now. Now, I do expect if that rotation signature does start to weaken, we may see this start to be canceled from west to east. But as of now, with what I just showed you on the velocity picture, I am very concerned that this particular cell is producing the threat for a damaging tornado, and it may be rain wrapped. It's also nighttime, so you may not see this coming. My best advice to anyone that's in this area, you want to seek shelter immediately. That's an interior room or a basement. You want to be away from windows. If you're in Chester County or extreme northeastern Lancaster County, that's where our tornado warning is in effect. And right now, it goes until 1130 tonight right through central Chester County. So if you're in these areas, let's go back to it one more time. I also want to show you the hail signature again because we've had some reports of very, very large hail over an inch in diameter, possibly golf ball size, even baseball sized hail with any one of these particular. They're very small cells, but they are packing quite a punch. Let's take the lightning down once again so we can take, get a better look at this cell. There it is. As we zoom in on the areas that are being hit hardest right now, we are looking at mostly Lancaster County. So right now we're in mostly a rural part of Lancaster County, right along the Pennsylvania Turnpike. If you've driven that route, you kind of know what this area is like. Not a lot of population out there, which is a good, a good thing. However, the Turnpike is highly traveled, and anyone that's trying to sneak out before the holiday weekend may be traveling this route to get to where they need to go. And again, this is moving to the south and east. So the next areas that I'm concerned about, Penwood Farms there, Elverson, West West Nantmeal, Barniston, Honeybrook, and then this starts to move further southward into Brandywine, into uh, the Doylestown area, uh, or Downingtown area, I should say, the Euclid Township area as well. And again, the cell we're looking at is slowly pushing from portions of Lancaster County into Chester County right now. So let's pull up that radar rotation signature again and take a closer look, see if we can see if anything is weakening here. And again, there it is. This is what we're looking at right here, this red and purple embedded within the radar signature over eastern Lancaster County and just now moving into portions of western Chester County. That's an indication that the storm is rotating, just that little blip of red embedded within the green, an indication that rotation is happening. And again, this is moving to the south and to the east. So Brandywine, again, Downingtown, Euclid, Collin Township, any of these areas, if you're in these areas, you need to seek shelter immediately. A tornado may be coming your way. Right now, it's Doppler indicated. We're not seeing any indications of a tornado on the ground. We're not seeing any reports of a tornado on the ground, but you can see the areas in the red indicating where that particular tornado warning is in effect. So right about here, central Chester County, these are the areas that are in the bullseye for this particular cell moving through. Let's pull up the shear tracks. Um, this shows you rotation. So this is what we're looking at. We're going to take off all these layers for you here and take a look at uh, what this storm has done. So you can see the path of this storm. It went from Lebanon, where we had a severe thunderstorm warning issued, right across Ephrata. And now, see that darker blue? That's an indication when we're looking at shear, which is what we're, what we're looking at right now. When you see that darker blue, that's an indication that more rotation is happening, that there's more wind shear in the environment, which means winds that ch change in direction with height in the atmosphere or winds that change in speed with going up in the atmosphere, and that's what a tornado needs. That's what a storm needs to start rotating. So there are our shear tracks. Here's a look at our hail track. So I do think this system is likely producing some large hail as well as it moves into Chester County. So let's pull that right back up for Kate, you. Kate, you've talked about speed and rotation. How, how fast would you say this system is moving? This particular cell is moving about 45 miles an hour to the southeast mm. right now. Um, and we can actually use our storm tracker on our Doppler radar system to pull this up and kind of tell you where the storm is going. It's moving very, very quickly, but this would bring it toward Philadelphia by about midnight. Now, I do think it will weaken because we've got some cooler air in place over the Philadelphia area. You can see we're not even under a severe thunderstorm watch or a tornado watch right now. These are, we talked about this earlier when we were looking at the line of storms going through, and I mentioned there may be a few rogue cells that try mm -hmm. to pop up later tonight. This is what I would classify as a rogue cell. It popped up out of nowhere, developed some rotation, developed large hail, and has enough dynamics to work with to really turn severe. So again, you can see Euclid Township at about 1134, West Goshen at 1145. If this maintains its strength and we continue to see this severe thunderstorm warning or tornado warning extended right around midnight in Wilmington and Philadelphia, that cell would be moving a little bit closer to our region.
Now we've seen some some wild video from other parts of the country. Now is the speed of this and the intensity of this something that could do damage like we've seen over the last day or so? Absolutely. I mean, it's not going to be like a the massive tornado that ripped through Jefferson City, Missouri last night. We don't generally get tornadoes like that here. Mm -hmm. This is a very small, discrete cell. However, we're talking about wind gusts, even straight line wind gusts. Even if this is not a, producing a tornado, it is likely producing wind gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour, which can cause damage. That can bring down tree branches. That can cause roof damage. That can cause power outages. 60 mile an hour winds, hail possibly the size of golf balls, ping pong balls, maybe even baseball sized hail if the system really gets going, which it may as it has that long hail track as it moved eastward. So, it's too soon to say if this is even producing a tornado on the ground, but as we know, we go back out afterwards and assess if there's a damage track, if there's any sort of indication that this was actually a tornado touchdown in these areas. So right now, we're just kind of in the initial stages of this where we're saying this cell may be producing a tornado. If you're in these areas, you want to get to a safe location, get away from windows, head down to your basement, and wait out this warning. And of course, I will let you know the second this warning becomes canceled. Hopefully we'll see this end a little bit early if we see that rotation mm -hmm. signature start to wane a little bit. I'll go ahead and pull that up one more time while we're while we're looking at it and we'll see if we can start to see this fizzle, which is what I'm hoping for, but I want to remind people also, if you, if you can get safely to your Facebook pages and let us know what's going on in your area, we'll definitely, you can be our eyes on the ground as well, and we'll pass that on as well and pass it on the Kate and give people an idea of what's going on if you are in the affected areas that you see here on your screen. And Kate, you had touched on this. You said it's just that tiny little spot, but that can help you determine whether, in fact, it is a tornado. Right. That's exactly what we look for. That's what we call a storm velocity signature. So there's different sure. layers of the radar you can look at. What you're looking at are winds that are going in different directions. So generally speaking, you're looking at just plain green means all the winds are going in the same direction toward the radar center. If you see winds going in different directions, then you know that there's some rotation going on, and that's how we that's how we really assess whether a storm could be producing a tornado or not. And right now, again, we do still have this tornado warning in effect. It does look just in the last couple of frames of radar, if I take off the lightning, it looks like the center of that cell may be weakening just slightly. But as it moves over, right now over Chester County, we may see that back edge of the tornado warning over Lancaster County be canceled. I do think we're going to, still with that signature, that rotation signature I just showed you, I do think we are going to see that tornado warning continue over Chester County for the next at least 15 or 20 minutes. As of now, it goes until 1130. So again, if you're in these areas, let's zoom in one more time on, on a closer look at the areas that are impacted right now. This is right now moving over Honeybrook, and it's kind of the southern edge of that where you see that radar signature, that rotation signature. So if you're in Honeybrook, if you're in West Nampmeal, if you're in West Callan Township, if you know anyone that lives in these areas that may be sleeping, give them a call, send them a text. Hopefully they're getting alerts on their phone. If they have our CBS Philly weather app, you're getting alerts through that. And take this seriously because we have seen, as you guys just mm -hmm. mentioned, across the entire country, this system has been producing severe weather from mm -hmm. the plains, mm -hmm the Rockies right through the Midwest, right into our area. And while this, the line that came through earlier this evening did not do as much, these rogue cells that are forming now are severe and do have the potential of actually putting a tornado on the ground, which can cause some significant damage. Can, go ahead. No, I was going to say, Kate, you said that these are pop-up, but you kind of mentioned this is part of that system that is moving across the country that hit the Midwest so far. Exactly. It's the same system, and it's just sending kind of waves of cold, cold fronts through much of the region. So we had one boundary come through earlier. This is the actual frontal boundary that we're seeing come through right now. So this will be the last of it. Once we get these storms out of here, things are definitely going to quiet down as we head into the holiday weekend. But this is the actual frontal passage. So what we had come through earlier today was more of a prefrontal boundary. This is the actual front. Doesn't have a ton with it as far as a traditional squall line. But a lot of times what you see are individual discrete cells like this are more dangerous as far as tornado production than a squall line. When you have a line of storms, they tend to produce severe straight line winds. When you have singular supercell thunderstorms like this one, that is our best chance to get some rotation because the storm is kind of 
solitary. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of contained within itself and it will start to rotate a little more easily. What do you see with your trained eye that we can't see at home and here in the studio that tells you that it might start to break up a little bit or is weakening a little bit? If you just How look at the tell? past couple frames of radar, well first you'll look at the intensity, the center of that cell. So if we look at the past couple of frames, you can see that bright pink shading, which is an indication of where the heaviest precipitation is coming down, whether that be rain or hail. We're starting to see that get a little bit smaller. So mm -hmm. we're starting to see the heaviest intensity precipitation begin to decrease just a little bit. Also, we just had the back edge of this tornado warning canceled for portions of Lancaster County, which is good news. Let's pull up once again that that velocity signature and I want to take a look at the rotation because that of course is another thing we look at. And as we zoom in on this here, you can see it's not quite as pronounced. Remember we had that red shading. It was pretty well pronounced embedded within the green. Now it's starting to fizzle just a little bit. I still think there's enough there that rotation may still be happening that we need to definitely keep this warning in place. But I do think based on the past couple of frames of radar that this may be starting to weaken as it moves into portions of Chester County. But this is still a very nasty looking cell. In fact, I want to show you just this little this may be what we're what we're what we call an inflow notch where winds come into the storm and begin to rotate and i believe the 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 best potential for any kind of rotation or any kind of tornado is in that circled area which is just east of honeybrook right now that's also likely where we have some large hail uh falling across uh, par parts of that area so this is still a very very dangerous storm we still have a tornado warning in effect. Again, if you're in any of these areas, like we said, Central Chester County, if you're in Downing Town, if you're in Callan Township, if you're in West Goshen Township, you are under a tornado warning. If you're just tuning in, act now. Head to the basement, go to any interior room, stay away from the windows. This is a very dangerous developing situation as this cell continues to push through, and it is not really showing much indication that it's falling apart. That's what you hope for to see these storms just kind of collapse in on themselves as they hit some cooler, drier air. But right now, again, we're still seeing that bright pink in the center of the storm. It looks like the lightning has started to fizzle a little bit with it, and the center of this, the center of that storm has started to decrease slightly in intensity, but it's still capable of producing a tornado. I am encouraged, I will say, by the last couple of radar frames, you can kind of see that. Not as much lightning, and the actual size of the storm is starting to decrease a little bit, starting to become a little more uniform instead of having that hook shape that we saw over portions of Lancaster County. Initially, Kate, we had said Monroe uh, County, that's where the uh, first warning was, has it shifted or are people in that area still? Yeah, so this is what we're looking at now. This path. was earlier. Um, let me pull this out to about two or three hours and I'll show you what we had earlier. We had a few cells up over portions of the Poconos. This one came through with a tornado warning that has now moved through New York City and out to sea. Now we're looking at the southern tier of this and you can see the pink shading there. That's where our tornado or our severe thunderstorm watch, I should say, is in effect. So when the Storm Prediction Center issued this, we were talking about some pretty heavy rain, some pretty strong thunderstorms over portions of uh, Harrisburg, York County, Dauphin County, Lebanon County, Lancaster County. It didn't look like they were going to really stay as strong as they moved into the Philadelphia region because the air was cooler, the atmosphere was a little more stable. That's why I'm encouraged to see that it does look like this cell is starting to weaken a little bit. You can see our tornado warning area has started to decrease a little bit. They're really keeping a close eye on this at the National Weather Service and Storm Prediction Center, watching this cell move through and decreasing the size of that warning accordingly so people know exactly which areas are included in it. So I'm actually going to turn off the radar just for a second and focus in on that area so you can see which areas are in that box right now. We're looking at West Brandywine, East Brandywine, Martins Corner, Coatesville, Callan, East Fallowfield, West Bradford, Downingtown, all of these areas and up toward Euclid Township still in that box, still in that tornado warning and that as of now goes until 1130 p.m. Right now when this warning was initially issued there were over 400,000 people that were covered by a tornado warning. Now that box has decreased a little bit and it is encouraging that they have not extended it further east, and I do think that's owing to the fact that this cell is starting to show at least a little bit of weakening over the past five minutes or so, and you can see where it is right now. It's right over 322, uh, moving through Icedale right now, moving into Brandywine. The heaviest rain or hail is where you see that bright pink shading, so just north of Martin's Corner, right over Icedale, and again, right over 322 right now. 
Hopefully not many people are out on the roads at this hour, but you know, it is the holiday weekend. People are starting to travel, starting to get a jump on their holiday travel. And that's why I'm really concerned as this moves over the turnpike as well. You can see the turnpike not too far away that we're going to be seeing some damage, possibly people caught unawares by this cell. Because if there is a tornado on the ground, it's not only dark, but it could be rain wrapped, very heavy rain and hail coming down with this. So all you see is a shield of precipitation moving towards you and you may not see an actual tornado moving into the area until it's actually upon you and it's too late to do anything about it. I got it. a social media message from uh, Jackie. She said she and her family are in the basement because they are in the affected area. But I'm thinking, what if you don't have a basement in that area? I remember my mom used to say get in the middle of, when a storm was coming, getting in the middle of the of a room in the floor and away from yes. the windows, of course. That's the I, most I would imagine you thing. would suggest suggest that as well. Yeah, if you don't have a basement, you want to get into as far away from windows as you can. Sometimes a downstairs powder room is a good place to go. A hmm. lot of times they don't have or a, or a coat closet, something along those lines, a crawl space, some place that doesn't have windows that you can be protected from any kind of windows blowing out or any kind of right. damage or any kind of trees falling through a window or anything like that. You just want to be as low as you can and as interior as you can. Basements, of course, are the best, but sure. if you don't have one, which a lot of people don't, then you have to kind of improvise. Yeah, make it right? sure. Yeah, sure. Find, find the best place to go. And that's why we always tell people, make sure you have that preparedness plan in place before something like this happens, before you wake up to an alert on your phone at 11 o'clock at night that's saying get into the basement. And make sure you know where you're going to go and how you're going to hurt up the family and that you have lights and things like that prepared. Because even though we don't get severe weather like this a lot here in the Philadelphia area, we do get it at times, especially this time of the year. May and June is a big severe weather time frame for us. And a storm like this definitely can cause damage. And I do expect to see some damage reports roll in as we go through the rest of this evening, not only with a potential tornado, but also with some large hail as the storm continues to move east. Now you can see on the latest frame of the radar here, this is looking better to me. We're not seeing those bright pinks that we were seeing before. Um, the lightning has started to wane a little bit. We are still under a tornado warning. Let's continue to track this storm because it has now moved out of my last track. We'll go ahead and delete that, and I want to show you where this storm is headed as we go through the next 15, 20 minutes or so. Again, it's moving pretty quickly, about 45 miles an hour. So that would put it near Philadelphia by midnight, Marple by 1155, into Camden by 1216, and Gloucester by 1226. It's moving kind of on the northern edge of the projected track. So I think we will eventually get this cell in Philadelphia. The question is, will it maintain its intensity? Will it continue to stay potentially tornadic? As of right now, it's a very, very very small area across central Chester County. Again, spots like Callan Township, Euclid Township, Downingtown, all of these spots, Brandywine, which is getting the brunt of it right now in a very, very small tornado watch. Now, the good news is they've just issued a new severe thunderstorm watch, severe thunderstorm warning, I should say, and a tornado warning. You can see that severe thunderstorm warning has now been issued, a brand new one, following the path of this storm, and that does include portions of the city of Philadelphia. But here's the encouraging part. If the National Weather Service, if the Storm Prediction Center had seen any indication that this was going to continue to produce a potential tornado, they would have issued that as a tornado warning and not a severe thunderstorm warning. Again, more indications that we're starting to see some weakening of this particular cell. So right now, a new severe thunderstorm warning in effect. That goes until midnight. That's for Camden County, Chester County, Delaware County, and portions of Philadelphia County. And you can see the people affected by that. Three million people in that warning zone. We do still have the tornado warning in effect. And again, that's that very small red box you see there over portions of central Chester County. As of now, it goes until 1130 tonight. I expect they'll let that run and then expire at 1130 as we start to see those storms moving a little bit further to the south and east. So the tornado warning until 1130, central Chester County, very small area. I am also concerned about large hail and hail damage with this system, damaging straight line winds up to about 60 miles an hour. And of course, the threat for a tornado, which that would, you only really know that happens if someone spots it or if they right. go back out later and assess the damage pattern. Just got a social media message from Steve in Euclid Township. He says right now he's seeing a lot of lightning, hearing a lot of thunder and a lot of heavy rain. Not much, so much wind mm -hmm. right now, but he's 
see in those conditions right now? That, is that consistent with what you're looking at? That is consistent. I mean, we're looking at Euclid right now, zooming in on it, and they're starting to get the leading edge of the heaviest rain, the radar imagery catching up to that area right now. So you can see where that bright red shading is. That's moving right over Steve's house, and it's going to be very heavy rain and frequent lightning. I am encouraged that he's not hearing a lot of wind mm -hmm. sure. because that means possibly the winds are starting to die down, an indication, further indication that this cell is likely weakening. And if we pull up the hail track, I think that'll show us some of the same thing that we're starting to see a little bit of a weakening. You can see as it moves toward Euclid, as it moves toward Brandywine, not quite as bright in that blue color, an indication that perhaps the hail threat is winding down a bit as well. And Kate, you said 45 miles per hour, but looking at what happened in the Midwest, that can do a significant amount of damage. It can. I mean, it's only over your area. Like, let's say you're Steve in Euclid Township, and it's going to pour over your area, thunder, lightning for 15, 20 minutes. Sure. It doesn't sound like a lot of time because it blows through quickly, but it does, if a storm's moving that fast, if its forward motion is 45 miles an hour, then the winds it's generating will likely be be at least 45 miles an hour, if not 50 or 60 miles an hour. And that's when we get into that severe range, those damaging straight line winds that can bring down tree branches, can bring down power lines, and can cause significant damage. I wouldn't be surprised, especially back across Lancaster County, which is a very rural area. A lot of times we see barn damage. A lot of times we see mm -hmm. damages to farms or any kind of warehouses out in that area. Uh, I do think that this is starting to look a lot better than it did as far as the rotation is concerned. And I do want to Pull that up one more time, if I can, and we'll see if we can take a look and see if we can see the difference here. Let me go through the different layers. We've got our sweeping radar right here. And again, it's looking now pretty muddled. We're not seeing much of that, that very, very clear indication that we had before that there's rotation happening just a little bit. Right about here around Euclid Township, there's a new flash of lightning. We get those every time they come in, and uh, basically the look of the lightning will tell you how old the lightning strike is. So these brighter shaded, these bright yellow lightning strikes are the ones that just happened. The one to the north over Euclid Township happened a few minutes ago. So that's what, how our radar imagery works, which is kind of a neat thing. You can see just how recent that lightning is. Um, let me pull up that cell one more time. While you're pulling that up, Kate, uh, I just got another message from Steve out in Euclid Township. He says the wind is now picking up. Okay. It's picking up out there now. And I also got an alert on our CBS Philly uh, weather app that severe thunderstorm warning for Philadelphia. Does that mean it's starting still moving southeast, I guess, coming this way? It's moving southeast at about 45 miles mm -hmm. an hour right now. And you can see in the latest frame of the radar here, it looks as though this is our sweeping radar. So this is our live Doppler here at CBS 3. And it looks as though that cell has started to shift out of the tornado warning area. Now, this this expires in two minutes at 11:30. What we have to see is if that they let that expire or if they continue to extend it. It's looking to me as though the the majority of the threat is moving east into the into the severe thunderstorm warning area. I'm going to pull up our National Weather Service radar and you can see it may look a little bit different. It may be a bit more delayed. But right now, the worst of it is moving through Euclid. It's moving through Downingtown. Again, still under that tornado warning until 11.30. It's 11.28 right now, so we're in two more minutes. And I do think the threat appears to be diminishing. This cell is definitely weakening. We're not seeing much in the way of recent lightning strikes as well, if I pull that up for you. Certainly, it is still producing lightning, but not quite as intense as it was just about 15, 20 minutes ago. But you can see we now have this severe thunderstorm warning with just that one cell. And that's really the only cell, as we zoom out, it's really the only thing we're worried about here is this one, like I called it earlier, rogue cell that picked up. It turned into a super cell thunderstorm. It took on some rotation, started producing that severe hail off to the west, and now is strong enough that even though it's weakening, it's maintaining some strength as it pushes to the south and east. And its, t its trajectory is actually taking it right into Delaware County. So if you're in Delco, if you're in northern Delaware, or perhaps South Philly, those are the areas that this storm is headed next. Again, moving to the south and east at about 45 miles an hour. So you can see that this box right here, this uh, orange box, that is our severe thunderstorm warning. That's where the storm is headed. That's the next phase of the storm. And it's not a tornado warning, which, of course, is good news and an indication that we're starting to see that rotation signature die down. We just got a message uh, from the Thorndale area, which, uh, right. if I remember correctly, is just outside of Westchester. And mm -hmm. they said that it's brutal. Mm -hmm. the, the conditions are just brutal right now. And Thorndale. in their basement as well, taking cover. Smart. That's where you should be if, as the storm rolls through. If you heard that alert on your phone, mm -hmm. you, you never want to say, like, 
oh, it's probably not going to be our area. It's probably, it's probably okay. If you hear mm -hmm. that alert go off, you want to move into the basement. But here's the latest news. We just, it's 1130 now, and they have let that tornado warning expire. So That's good news. That threat for a tornado as of now appears to have ended. Hopefully, we're not going to see any sort of damage pattern in that area. I do expect we will see some storm reports rolling in. We're still under a severe thunderstorm warning in Philadelphia and surrounding areas until midnight. I'll bring you some more on that coming up. But for now, you and Jessica, we're going to toss it back over to you. Okay, Kate, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We've been on the air yeah. since, what, 11 o'clock? And it's been nonstop. But once again, it has expired. Yes. Indeed. Okay. We're going to take a short break. You're watching Eyewitness News. We'll be right back.